Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make this transparent magnifying glass to do I Spy activities on Boom Carts. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to remove.bg and we're going to upload an image. I use this site when an image has a background to it. It takes off the background. So here's a flashlight that I thought was cute and I'm going to upload the flashlight and it's going to remove the background. You can see how it took all of that stuff off the background. Now, if you're going to use a magnifying glass instead of a flashlight, you could upload that magnifying glass and take the middle part out to make it transparent. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to go to edit, erase and restore. And I like to make my brush size as big as I can and then make sure it's on erase. And you can see that wherever you touch, it's going to erase it and make it um, transparent. If you hold down the mouse, you can make it bigger. So that's how I take the middle part out of a magnifying glass. Now let's say I have, obviously I don't want all of this transparent. I can just simply go to restore and go over it and it's going to bring it back for me. All right, so I'm going to hit download. I'm going to download my image. It's going to go to my download files. All right, so next I'm going to go to Google. Drawings, and it's going to come up with a blank drawing. This is a transparent background, so I'm going to rename it Red Flashlight, and I'm going to insert an image upload from computer in my downloads, and I'm going to upload that flashlight that has the background removed and I know it's removed because it says remove right here. So this is the one I want. I'm going to open it. And here it is. So you need to make this fairly small because you're going to need to stretch it once you get onto Boom Cards. So I'm going to start off with a smaller flashlight and I'm going to insert a shape. So I go insert, shape, and I'm going to insert this donut like shape. And I'm going to make sure it has a black border and a black fill. All right? Then I'm going to put it in, into the middle of the drawing. And I'm going to make this, bring this one to the top. Go to the front. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is make the rest of this black. And I'm going to simply do that by inserting a shape. So you can go, like I did before, insert shapes, rectangle. I'm going to make it the borders black, the fill is black. Okay, I'm going to control or command C, control command V for paste, copy paste it. I'm going to bring that flashlight back to the front again. To the order, I right clicked, bring to the front. Then I'm going to fill in this here. So I'm going to insert a shape. I can go insert or I could go right here. And I'm going to Make sure it's black. Paste. And then it needs to come down a little bit more. So it needs to come up. Just until it's all filled in. So it's a little too.
just a matter of playing with it until you get it all filled in. Okay, that looks pretty good. This might need to block this a tad. It looks good. So if I want to move that flashlight up a little bit. All right, there we go. There's my flashlight. So I'm going to go here to File, Download. And I'm going to save it as a PNG. So here it is, flat red flashlight PNG. So then I'm going to go to PowerPoint. I like to use PowerPoint to create all my things first before going into Boom Cuts. So you can see that I created my scene that I'm going to use as an iSpy. I created my first page and then all the questions. And then I created the final page all, all in advance. So I'm going to take this and file, export. I'm going to change this to a JPEG. I gave it a name, I Spy at School. I'm going to save every slide at the width of 1400 by 1000. Um, the reason why I like PowerPoint is because it lets you do every slide. You could do the same thing in Google Slides. However, you have to to you have to export things individually that way each slide individually you can't do all the slides at once um, also when I create these things in slides I change my site my page size to seven by five so I'm going to hit export And it's going to tell me that it made a folder with all of these pictures individually done onto my desktop. Say so, okay. Now I'm going to go back to Boot Cards into the Creator Studio. You have to have a premium membership in order to do this. It's $35 a year. However, in one month I made back my $35. So it's totally worth it for me. Um, so going into the studio. And I'm going to go to make a deck, new deck, and I'm going to go right here to upload those pictures. So I'm going to say yes, I'm going to upload to my desktop. Here's my, here's my folder with all my pictures in it, I spy at school. I'm going to command A to upload all of them or control A to select them all and then say open. I'm also going to upload that red flashlight PNG. So I'm going to choose all of my slides. And say okay. And it's going to bring them all here. Then you can just um, hold down your mouse and drag and put if you have a special order that you want them in and it just moves it along the side. So I, I want this one as the bottom one, so that, and I want to make sure that my I spy one right here is the first one. So, so here's my picture. So I'm going to drag in my flashlight now. So I'm going to 
hold this down, drag over the image, and here's my flashlight that I want. And there it is. So this is what you're gonna need to make bigger. So you're gonna drag it, and then I move it around so that you can see to each corner so that you can see kind of what shows and how far you need to drag it. So I get to drag it up here. Yep, it's covered everything. Make sure everything is covered. All right, so the next thing you need to do is just make a copy of this slide and put it after each one. So I'm gonna hit the little copy button, clone button, and just drag it in between each one. And then when you do it this way, when you upload like that, it gives you a blank one, so you just go and delete that one. And it's easy as that. So you can see when I preview it, I'll go back and create a cover for it and, and make sure I give credit to everybody. Um, I'll do some keywords like I spy, hidden picture, vocabulary, school, those types, types of things. I make sure that I always make sure I give um, credit to the people where I got my clip art from and my backgrounds from and um, give it a price. The price is right here. Give it a points price. Um, I do not want it randomized. I turn that off. I want it because I want it to go in order. And I up, I'll give it a name. And then I'll publish it to the store when it's ready. And I'll show you a quick preview. I always preview to make sure because I missed a step. That's why I always preview. First of all, that doesn't belong there. And I forgot. You have to make this draggable. So you have to go to the click it and then make it draggable or it's not going to work. So I have to go, if you do that first, you won't have to do it for each time. Okay, I went back through and made everything draggable and so I'm going to go back and preview this again. So find the scissors and now it should be draggable. There we go. So once the students find the scissors, they would hit next and it would go to the, to the next one. I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me.